Okay, one Mercedes Vito 2009 model. And we're going to use this bottle jack, which is Mickey Mouse. No, we're not. We're using, I just got this one out, which is the, <laughs> the big 10 tonner. We're not going to use that. That's going in the bin. All right, so we're going to take the wheel off and we're going to change, was it both calipers? Okay, so yeah. underneath, I'm not going to tell you where to find the jacking point. That's up to you, but on these, they've got a chassis built like a tank. So find your jacking point, make sure it's secure. We're going to put an axle stand under as well. And then with the, before you, before you jack it up, just undo the wheel nuts. Makes it easier. So we're just going to find a piece of wood to put the axle stand on. Why are we changing the calipers? <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh my god, and that's jacked off the ground. All right, it is seized solid. Okay, wheel nuts off. We did crack them, and you already did that. Used to be a mechanic. There we go. That is absolutely seized solid, isn't it? Yeah, me do. No, nope. and uh, you don't want to stand downwind of this one. I don't know what you've been eating, Andrew, but that's disgusting. That's gross. Yeah. Well, it's not even going to move. Is it moving at all? Nope. Nope. Well, you have to just go straight for the caliper then, yeah? So what you're going to undo, just explain, that one and the bottom one. And the bottom one. And that there's two there's two Allen keys in there, aren't there? Yeah. And we'll find out what size Allen keys they are. Take the rubber off the end. One rubber off. And then there's another one on the other bottom one. Is there? Yeah. You got? Have you bought the full kit? Huh? You bought the full kit. Yeah. Caliper, the lot. I haven't bought the runners for the pads, but no, but just no. the just the calipers. Have yeah. you got pads with them? No, I mean pads are alright. Really. Are they? Yeah. Do you, uh, how much were they? I got it cheap. Ninety. Was it ninety? Ninety quid for lot. It's for both sides. Yeah. Oh, pretty cool. And the thing. The fitting kit. And the um, runners. All right. That's two calipers and the fitting kit, not the runners. These are what you call the runners. You got him? Hmm. Okay, so he's using those Allen keys. What do you call them? They're not Allen keys, are they? Anyway, it's a H6. H6 mil. Okay, once he's took that one out, these are the sliders, aren't they? The, the um, is what the caliper the pins slides really on. Aren't they, yeah, yeah, pins that go through. So we'll do that one, they'll do the one underneath. We don't need to film that. That's all it is. It's just a, almost like a standard bolt in it. Okay, bottom one coming off. Okay, so you might have to disconnect the cable, which is a metallic indicator, I think. Let's see if this moves. Oh, <laughs> that's. Oh, there we go. That's it. It's, oh, you can see it's rusty as hell, can't you? Which is the uh, pistons have seized. You've got a breaker bar there, Andrew, if you want to have to go in. The pads are plenty thick enough. Yeah, the pads, oh yeah, they're almost new, yeah, aren't they? Probably do. You set just some pads at the same time afterwards. Okay. Right. That moved. Oh, I see you're pushing the pistons back in, are you? That's probably a good time to try and undo the caliper hose. Seems we are replacing the caliper anyway. Yeah. So while the caliper's still in place, it's easier to put a 14 mil spanner on and undo your, um, just, well, just free it off, isn't it? Yeah. Then your caliper will come off. Because you can't undo it because it's, it'll just twist like hell. So then we hit the caliper off and then we can remove it doesn't matter about the hammer because it doesn't matter. And there we go. And then we can undo the the sensor. What size is that? Eleven? Ten. Ten. Ten mil sensor bolt. I was doing anything because my pad sensor's knackered. Is it? <laughs> okay, that's off. 
I'll just double check we've got the right caliper then. Right, okay. Get them. Ooh. All you gotta hope is this the right ones, isn't it? Because <laughs> it never it usually never is. I'm not being funny to manufacturers, but there is so many vehicles. What what's it say? Don't tell me BMW. No idea. Got the tin. Oh, they've got them pins in them already. They've got pins in them? Yeah. So you I've didn't done. need the fitting kit then? No. Uh, no. Sliders? No, I didn't, but I got any of the nuts, so. Alright, let's have a quick look, so. Yeah. That is. That's the opposite side. Wrong side. Yep. Yeah. You can tell the way it's gonna. the way the uh, brake pipe it fits to it. Let's hope they haven't got two. Driver side ones. Thank you very much. Bingo, look at that. They look beautiful. So they were actually 73 quid for both delivered. That was alright. Well, why do you say 90 odd? That was with the fitting kit. Oh, right. So you don't need the fitting kit, really? Well, well. I only need the pins, really. Yeah. Happy days. Right. So now we're going to. Undo that, there's going to be a bit of leakage there. Yeah. Some people pinch it with mole grips, but that's not good for the pipe, is it? No, you do it quick enough, should be right. Yeah. I'm going to lose a bit. I'm going to get some more brake fluid then and a load of rags because it's going to make a mess. All right, two seconds. All you can do is just twist the caliper, hopefully. Did it come, is it coming undone? Yeah. No, that's all right, that's good. So you're going to get a bit of leakage, so we're going to have to do some bleeding, but we'll show you that Just as take... well. So get the new one ready, take the um, dust cap off. There we go. Yep. It's just dripping, isn't it, really? This is going to be tricky now because you've got to use it with one hand and then don't tell me you got it first time <laughs> you did there you go so yeah and then you want to put it in place so you can tighten up if you can see it looks like it's slightly twisted once you start tightening it it'll the twist will come out a little bit won't it yeah nip it up for now and i'll tighten up We've got it okay. back in. Right, just back in. So if you can make sure you remember which way your cables and your, your wires, the path they take, it makes life easier, doesn't it? In. If you're doing it, you don't really want to keep the old pins. I think we did last time, didn't we? We did this a few years ago, and the pins that we got with it were not runs, and they used it used to rattle, didn't it? Yeah. So you you really need to get the pins to go with the caliper. I know that sounds stupid thing to say, but we thought we got the right ones, and I'm pretty sure they did send us them, didn't they, Andrew? But they were the wrong ones. So we bought we bought them afterwards. But it's a long time ago. It's more than a few years, wasn't it? All right. What did I do with that little... Okay, just tighten them up. Now, there is, a, is there a torque setting? Uh, there is, but I don't know it. Okay, <laughs> just tight, tight.
check okay. in. We've just tightened them up using the uh, red ratchet and then we're going to use it like a small... Oh, you can't see that, can you? Let me come around that side. A small breaker bar just to make sure that they're good. Top and bottom. So you've got two brand new dust caps, pop the new ones on. I remember with these, because I because Andrew bought the calipers and they've got the pins already in them and everything set, they're already greased and ready to go. All we have to do is put the pins on, tighten them up, and then put the caps back on. And virtually that's it. As long as the shoes are alright, you'd have to if your shoes uh, or your pads and that could be your pads I'm afraid, and then yeah, and then just tighten up the hose a little bit more. Just Yep. It's good. And there they are moving. Now they're going to be a little bit sloppy because you haven't put the foot on the brakes yet, which will then um, engage the pistons. Yep. yep. So if we just have a quick look, Andrew's just going to undo the bleed nipple, just a quarter of a turn. I'll go inside, put my foot on the brake, or are we going to do the other side first? Do that side first, yeah? Do one at a time. Okay. In here, the reservoir, so if you imagine we done that and we took it all out, it's hardly moved. Yeah, but it won't until we start pumping. No, until you start pumping. I mean, what you, the loss was minimal. Yeah. yeah. So I'll nip inside now and tell you what we're doing. He'll shout to me. All right, pump it then. Yeah, up. Down. Yeah, keep going. Two more pumps. Yeah. All right, up. And you hold it now. Once it's held down, then you just go to do one hand. I'll just nip it up now. I want to hold it down, Dad. Down. Yeah. Alright, pump it out now. Right, off. You off? Are you? Yeah. Hang on then. Why is it stuck stuck? <coughs> it's, not really, it's just a bit rusty. Okay. It's free. You are? Off, yeah? Yeah, it's just all the rust on it. Thank you. That's done then, really. What you do now is put that pipe on the inside of that bleed nipple valve. Pop them on. Hold it in one place then, and then pop it in the back here. Oh, they were stuck. <laughs> you can see. Yeah, yeah, you see where they're stuck they on. They were stuck, that's why. Pads it on in here. That's done, William. Okay. Yeah. Right. Just, we're going to do the other side. We're not going to. I don't think we're going to show you the other side, but uh, yeah, we'll top it up first. How much is? Looks like that. Oh, it has gone down a little bit. Well, not. No, we're still up to here. Look. So. <laughs> wrong side. Yeah, wrong side. A little bit, wasn't it? Oh. That'll do. Okay. So we're done. All this side's finished. Just double check. We know this because we're doing it, and Andrew's done it before. That you make sure you everything is always tight, and then the wheel back on, and then we'll jack it up, take it down, take the axle stand out, and do the other side. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, it usually helps. <laughs> it helped us because we've looked at videos on YouTube as well. Take care. Uh, like and subscribe would be fantastic. And we'll definitely see you in the next one. Say so thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Bye.